Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Pansite webinar. So, today's topic, Confused Mind. Let us start with interaction. In my life, I have experienced a confusion few times. What about you? Have you experienced confusion? If, the, if you have experienced, put yes or the alphabet Y. Because I want to know whether this topic is relevant for everybody. Okay, Rajeshri ji. Yes. Yes, Sanal Kumar. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, Krishna Arjun. Yes. Okay, so the topic is important and relevant. Okay, thank you, Pradav ji. I did some research and I found there are plenty of books on confusion. Like the confused mind. Are you confused? Statistics for the utterly confused. My webinar is always based on FEQT. Facts, experience, quotes, and thoughts. Dear friends, more than 50% of the stuff you hear from this session or in my sessions, they are not coming from one single book. And they are, most of them are my own original thoughts. So you won't find them in any books. I'm not a person who I have seen nearly 90% of the speakers, they cut and paste from some book. PowerPoint slides are all mostly copied and pasted. Do you agree? If you agree, put A. Because I want to make sure whether I'm the only person who has found that is, most of them, they are using the cut and paste. Roy Chiriyanti. Okay, true. Sanal Kumar. Cut and paste. And most of them, they don't share anything from their personal life or professional life. They will say, yeah, research shows and Harvard study shows and that study shows hey, what about from your own life? We want to know whether you were able to apply whatever you are talking about in your life. Salkavar, somebody has unmuted. Definition of confusion. I have simplified. This is also not from any textbook. I look for definition. I was not satisfied with the most of the definitions I found online. So this is a simplified definition. Confusion, inability to think clearly. It could be inability to decide quickly. Or it could be inability to act rationally. Do you find my simplified definition right? If it is right, put R, the chat box. Yes, Pradavji, thank you. Right. So one of the three, or sometimes all the three. Medical conditions causing confusion. We are not going to go into the depth of it. Just to make sure that I am covering everything. Medical conditions, infections, urinary infections, pneumonia, meningitis, especially elderly people or people with the diabetes, suddenly they develop confusion. The family members, they got get worried, went to the hospital. Sometimes they may have fever. Sometimes they may not have fever. Then we usually do the urine analysis also. Urine test, infection, evidence of infection, yes. Urinary tract infection is a common condition in elderly people. Then pneumonia or meningitis, inflammation of the meninges. So these are the infectious 
causes or diseases. Dehydration or electrolyte imbalance. Sodium, potassium, calcium. My own father, when he had a surgery for the hip fracture, this happened 15 years back. I was in America. And unfortunately, subsequently, while he was in the hospital, he developed some diarrhea and he was given a fluid, IV fluid, without any salt. No saline. He was given just the straws. And he developed low sodium hyponatremia, which was not detected. And he became very drowsy. And he used to sleep. And nobody thought about or suspected they thought, okay, maybe he's tired. And three days later, and when I used to call from America, I used to ask mother, my mother, how is he doing? Oh, he's sleeping. Okay. Next day, how is he doing? He's sleeping. Then I thought, okay, it doesn't sound right. Then I asked my friend, who is in Trivandrum, another physician, and asked him to go and see my father. And he went home, and then he ordered all these lab tests. Sodium was low. Low sodium. Because it was not treated for nearly three days, even after correction, he became a totally different person. So hyponatremia. Low sodium. It is very common these days. And the potassium also, low potassium. Here also, for heart failure and other conditions, people give a tablet so that you will urinate, pass more urine. Along with urine, you lose more potassium also. Unless that potassium is replaced through eating some food rich in potassium or potassium chloride syrup, again they will develop hypo hypokalemia. They develop confusion. Then high calcium, then sleep deprivation. Low blood sugar. Diabetic patients, mmm. Be careful. If you take insulin, if you are taking some medications, never, never skip a meals. If you miss meals, the blood sugar may dip down, then you may develop confusion. Then hyperglycemia, obviously, high blood sugar also. Head injury, stroke. Side effects of drugs. Oh, there are numerous drugs. I have given you some, just a couple of them. Opiates. Yes, in USA, the opiate addiction, narcotic addiction, is very, very common, prevalent. And sometimes they get the narcotics for their pain, knee pain or back pain, and they overdose. Because the pain is so severe, they think, okay, the doctor advised to take one tablet, they may take three tablets. Then they develop confusion and Unconsciousness, everything of it. Then alcohol again. You know that. It's alcohol impairs the judgment. Like most of the driving accidents. Because they get confused. Even signals and everything. So alcohol. Notorious for creative making. The mind confused. Mental health conditions, anxiety, depression. Then dementia, obviously. Psychological causes begin confusion. Again, my own. My own, that is a thoughts-based slide. Stresses, stress, like losses, threats, changes, and the serious illnesses can make the mind confused. And they're very common in the 21st century. What do you mean by losses? If a person suddenly loses job, and this is very common these days, youngsters are facing, uh, Google is laying off, or Amazon, 10,000. And this guy, if you suddenly lose a job, confused. What to do? What to do? Confusion. Or serious illness. Somebody says, okay, yeah, after testing, I think that you have cancer. Oh, now comes all the anxiety. You are not able to think. Your mind is totally clouded. Then change also. Change the rules, regulations. And the threat to your job or blackmailing. These days, many women, they get blackmailed. They take some pictures of this woman 
either naked or when they are having some uh, they sex with somebody else, then they use that one to blackmail. That threat, threat to image and reputation, confused. Now, these examples, are they clear? They are clear, put C. I've given you only a few examples to make sure it's clear that is a confusion. Yes, Arjanaji. Because confusion is growing. Many people, they don't even talk about confusion. Have you heard anybody giving a talk on confusion? If you have not heard, put N, no. If you have not heard anybody giving a talk on confusion, okay, no. <laughs> so that is why I have chosen this topic. And there was an old movie in Malayalam, Summer in Bethlehem. Jairam acted in that movie, a song, M.G. Sriyumar, Confusion Thir Kaname. Yende confusion tir kaname. Okay, so that is what it is. Confused mind. Good communication. Good communication is the bridge between confusion and clarity. And this guy was an African American guy. And he lived in the 19th century. He lived only for 31 years. That quotation, I liked it very much. I'm going to show the next slide. Then subsequently, I would like you to tell me whether you understand that quote. Terminological infelic infelicities have a way of breeding conceptual confusion. Donald Davidson, American philosopher. If you have not understood, put no in the chat box. Have you understood or not understood? If you have not understood, put no, N. Is anybody responding? I Okay. Maybe my chat, that one. Okay. No, no, no. Go over. No. Okay. Yeah, no. To be frank, I also don't understand. <laughs> I also don't understand. That is a creative confusion. If some people, they... Say things or write things which you are not able to understand. I could not understand. I have to go and check the dictionary definition of that infelicity. Oh, that one says many meanings. Unhappiness or inappropriateness or unsuitability. What is he talking about? Then he's talking about conceptual. This one. Confusion. And he's an American philosopher. His own look. Look at his face. He himself looks confused. Okay. He, he himself looks confused. <laughs> confusionist. When the idea came, confused, I wanted to know whether there's a dictionary word or is it something I am creating a new word. Then I found in a couple of dictionaries, yes, confusionist is a person who is good at creating confusion. <laughs> okay, confusionist. And now I'm going to show you some confusionist. confusionist. Doctors, be frank. I am a medical doctor. Don't worry. How often do you find that you are able to understand what a doctor is talking to you about the medical condition? Suppose you are taking your father or mother or you yourself are going to a doctor. How often do you come out thinking that, okay, you are able to understand everything? If you are not able to, then put again, no. Now it is changing, no. Dr. Arthinaji, no. Okay. To be frank, most of the doctors, they are poor communicators, Roy Chariyanji. Once the, there's in Technopark, there's a company, IBS. I had done some workshops for that company. And the CEO on Matthews, once I talk to him and he told, why do the doctors talk, talk as if they have come from a different planet? Okay, Gomarji, I understood. Patients also. I agree. But the problem is doctors, if they don't, the patients won't follow the advice. They have not understood. 
And then subsequently, many doctors, they blame the patients. They are not cooperative. They are not compliant. For example, you say, suppose you are taking your father. Somebody has going, ah, okay, now tomorrow, now, now, or, or, or biopsy. We will do that biopsy. And then how many people know what this biopsy means? Biopsy, what is scopy, is it? What is this scopy? Biopsy. And you tell you, you they use all these abbreviations. Am I right? If I am right, put R. If I am right, put R. I am a medical doctor. Yes. Or Narthinaji, R. Yes. Thank you, Roger Ranji. That's why I usually take classes for the doctors. But many people, they don't come. Because the doctors have big ego. They think that they don't need anything. They don't have to learn anything. Big, big, big ego. And they continue to confuse the patients and family members. Lawyers. Oh my goodness. Do you agree? If you agree, put A. They will say, oh, oh, tomorrow we will put injunction. We will file for an injunction. How many people understand what this injunction is? They immediately think that some injection. He is a lawyer. He is going to give an injection. Then they will say, just we can send a summons or a subpoena and after wait. They use all the legal jargon. I have had the opportunity to interact with many lawyers in India and here as a plaintiff. And so, so I know. <laughs> I have to ask many clarifying questions. What exactly is that one? What is this one? And subsequently, Go Google and do the reading to understand what this means. Right? Lawyers are number one Confucianists. Roy G, do you agree? Roy G, Roy MCG. <laughs> yeah. Then teachers, oh yes, that is one of the reasons why these days, many children, they are not able to understand what these teachers are talking about. They go for private tuition. And some of the guys, private tuition, they are good at communication. They are able to make the student understand. During my school days, I was not able to understand what many teachers thought. For example, mathematics, I found it so boring. Algebra, I thought, what is this algebra? What is this geometry and everything? I thought I was stupid. Actually, no. I, I, was, I, think, I thought I was having, now I, I thought I was having a learning disability. Now I understand he was having a teaching disability. The teachers of the teaching disability and the students, they think that they have got a learning disability. Even now, I don't understand this algebra. Okay? I'm not. Everything at that teacher. I'll put the whole point at that end. Do you agree? If you agree, put A. The same way, in the medical college also, nearly 80% of the teachers, they were Confucianists. They were Confucianists. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Yajinder Ji. Yeah. Spiritualists. Aha. Uh -huh. A long time back when I was in India, I want curiosity to learn more about the spirituality. So I went and listened to some, some of these, uh, the, these gurus and all those things. I came out thoroughly confused after every talk. I was told, so disoriented that is whether, where is the south, where is north and everything. After listening to a, a talk, the spiritualist. And who am I? Okay, I went and listened to a talk. Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> is that, who am I? I am not what I am. And this is not a body. This is that one, this one and all those things. At the end, I didn't learn anything. I couldn't understand what he was talking about. Then modern artists. I'm going to show you a couple of paintings. That's a modern art. Violet, green, red. Do you know how much it was sold for? The price it fetched? Can you guess? Put a number in the in the chat box. How many dollars did it 
get for that painting. That painting was sold. Give a rough guess. Make a rough guess. Okay, five hundred dollars, Musamilu. Omarji lakhs, not rupees in in dollars numbers. Lakhs again is so vague. It could be hundred lakhs or five hundred lakhs. Okay, oh, ten thousand dollars, Roy Chariyanji. Okay, now I'm going to show. Hundred eighty-six million dollars. One million is eight crores. So hundred eighty-six multiply how many crores? What do you see in that modern art? Are you able to make head or tail out of it? Are you able to understand what is there in that art? Yes or no? Okay, no, Musa <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's not over. I'm going to show you one more painting. After that, if you are not confused, something's wrong with you. I'm thoroughly confused. After seeing that modern art, I am thoroughly confused. And <laughs> if you are not confused, then something is really wrong with that one. If you are convinced, you are normal. Okay. Okay, this is another modern art. It fetch. Oh, sorry. Two hundred million dollars. Jackson Pollock. He died somewhere in nineteen fifty-six. Two hundred million dollars. <laughs> oh, you can say with a different interpretation, chaos and all those things, because that is confusion. It has created confusion in our mind. So that is what the chaos is. <laughs> you create confusion and you make money. Two hundred million dollars. <laughs> Symbolic and all those things. Then, when Rajeshana died, I cried so much. My husband was confused. Sudha Murthy. Sudha Murthy, wife of Narayana Murthy, one of the co founders of Infosys. Sudha Murthy was the chairperson of the Infosys Foundation charitable organization. And that is her daughter, Akshada, and her son in law, who was till now. The British Prime Minister, Sunak Rishi. Eh? If you want to know why she got confused, why her husband got confused, why did she cry? You know earlier. Loss. You know, follow me? Sudden loss. Okay, you like that person so much. And suddenly that one, you feel that loss, stressor, and then Transiently, you feel confused and you cry. People cry sometimes when they are thoroughly confused. The American president, Harry Truman, if you can't convince them, confuse them. One of the best quotes, that is what the politicians do. They thoroughly confuse the voters. They thoroughly confuse them. The voters get confused. When they are confused, then subsequently it is easy to brainwash them. A person who is confused, he feels helpless. He feels hopeless. And he will listen to whatever you say. Because he thinks that, okay, I cannot take a decision of my own. Tell me, tell me what should I do. Tell me, tell me what should I do. Then brainwashing is easy. Is it clear? If it is clear, put C. That is how the politicians, they thrive. They create confusion. Okay. Especially the masses, majority of the people, very easy to create confusion. That is one of the reasons, the CAA, there is nothing wrong with that CAA. Nobody in India, born in India, they are not going to lose their citizenship. Whether you are a Hindu, Muslim, Christian or Indian, nobody. That is only for those who have come from the neighboring three countries and who have been staying in the country were not born here, like Afghanistan, Pakistan, Bangladesh. And there also, if they are Muslim, no, you are not going to get Hindus, Christians, Sikhs, or people coming from that country. 
because of religious per persecution, they will get citizenship. So they are not going to deny citizenship anybody who already is having that one. But the parties have succeeded in creating confusion, protests, and all those things. Am I right? Still, many people, including the Prabuddha Keralam, all this, some particular religious community, I don't want to tell that one. They think, oh, CAA, oh, I'll be devoted. I have to leave this country. Confusion. Okay, thank you, Gomarji. They thrive. They divide people. Politicians create mass confusion, and confused voters make irrational decisions. Definition of conference. The confusion of one man multiplied by the number percent. Rob Paul, is it funny? The same thing in the debates, the TV debates, these days, political debates, whether it is Arnab Gosami or Rajdeep Sardeshai, and I do watch some of these things. And some one guy from Congress Party, one from BJP, one from CPM, one from APKIP, and everything. They talk about the same issue in different tones, and at the end, you feel thoroughly confused. What is the truth? Who is telling the truth? What is a fact? Am I right? If I am right, put R. Any political debate on the TV, more number of people will create more confusion, right? Thank you, Usabili ji, Artira ji. More confusion, they create only confusion. Nothing. Shio Susan, thank you. Confused mind is vulnerable to indecision, manipulation, and anxiety. The moment you are confused, now you don't know what to do. You don't feel comfortable in taking any decision. Then you ask somebody else to take the decision for you. You are somebody else's that one. If that person is always a stupid guy, he will tell you to do, he will ask you to do something and you may do the stupid thing. Because you blindly sought the advice of somebody who doesn't know anything about what you are asking about. So confused, confusion is really dangerous. Confused mind. Six causes behind confusion. One, ignorance, voluntary and involuntary. Information, knowledge, that gives you the power. With information, knowledge, you will be able to assess the situation clearly. But what is happening? Information from the books, if you are illiterate, you cannot read, then you are not going to. But these days, what I find is not illiteracy, illiteracy. People know how to read, but they don't read any books. They don't read any books. They, they don't have the time to read any books. So they are illiterate. That is voluntary ignorance. The other one is involuntary ignorance. Is it clear? If it is clear, put C. This ignorance is also one of the underlying causes for, yes, Roy Chiranji, thank you. Arjunaji, thank you. So, I also was like that. Again, my own personal experience. Before the age of 28, my reading habits were terrible. Terrible. Only for the subject, for the examination, what are taught in the medical school, anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, and that also for the exam oriented. Nothing else, more. No extracurricular reading habits at all. So, illiteracy. Then when I started reading, cultivating the reading habits, reading a lot of self-help books, right from Dale Carnegie, the Napoleon Hill, Six Sigler. Yes, I empowered myself with information and knowledge. When the world changed, everything changed after that one. Because of that, I rarely stay confused for long. Yes, I do get confusion sometimes, but that won't last for long. Maybe few minutes or few hours. By then, yes, I managed to come out of confusion. Hypo information. Again, you won't find in any textbook. My own that one. You must have heard the word hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia is hypo means low. Hypothyroidism. Low. Thyroid is not producing enough thyroid hormone. Hypotension. And the blood pressure is low. 
So I have put hypo information. You are not getting enough information or incomplete information. With incomplete information, obviously it won't be possible for it to make a decision. Then you will remain confused. Is this clear hypo information? If it is clear, put C. Yeah, that is my own zone. Okay, thank you, Musamuliji. So hypo information. Then comes just the opposite, just take the blood pressure. If it is high, also it is not good. Hyper information, information overload. All these WhatsApp, everything, you are getting so many messages, so much information. Just like during the COVID period, hyper information, information overload. Didn't you feel confused during the COVID period? Even now again, hyper information, information overload. If you are this one, say yes. If what I'm saying is right, put yes, hyper information. Yes, Roy Chariyanji, thank you. Sanal Kumar, thank you. So, Pradabji, thank you. Hyper information. Shanmir Rajeshri, thank you. Then non-information, no information at all. Misinformation, that is also very common. Misinformation is called so-called fake news. False information. Media, mainstream media, social media. You don't know whether it's true or not. That also is creating confusion. Conflict information. One person sends a message and the other person just the opposite, diametrically opposite. Now you get confused. That is misinformation. Lastly, poor thinking skills. That is the most important thing. Even if you have information, you need, you must know how to think. Use that information. That is where we don't get any formal training in how to think. Did you get any training in the school or college in how to think? If you didn't get the training, put N. No. If you didn't get, no. Okay, thank you, Musamiliji. And no, I also didn't get any formal training. The first time I came across a book on thinking skills was in 1985, when I was 33 years old. Before that, I have I never read any book on thinking skills. Okay, then I came, okay, different types of thinking. My goodness, there are so many different types of thinking. It is something like... You know, you different tools for doing your work. You may need a screwdriver or wrench. You may need a you know, hammer. Like that, you need different kinds of thinking skills to sort out or manage different kinds of challenges or problems. I'm going to share all those things, okay? Because I'm not here to just make you feel thoroughly confused. Okay, he's talking about many thinking skills and he's not, not telling us how to how to develop the thinking skills, then this talk will be useless. This talk will be useless if I don't give you the right guidance in how to boost your thinking skills. Sati Sai Baba, too much of this book knowledge just leads to doubts and confusion. You get too many doubts asking, what is this and what is that? And you waste a lot of time in this conflict. Sati Sai Baba. Some people keep on reading, 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 reading information, collecting, 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 and they never even apply. They create a information overload. We are buried underneath the weight of information, which is being confused with knowledge. Do you agree? If you agree, put A. If you agree, Tom Bates. Information, too much information. Do you agree, my dear friends? If you put agree, yay. What's happening? I don't see anybody response. Ah, okay, thank you. Because my the screen didn't show the response. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you. Before I came here, I was confused about this subject. Having listened to your lecture, I am still confused, but on a higher level. That's where I told you. When I went to listen to that spirituality talks, I was a bit confused. 
after listening to that i got thoroughly confused okay more confused that who am i i am not what i am and this is not the body this is the soul what is soul and soul is not body and spirit is not this one <laughs> talking about many terms spirit to soul many things are abstract nobody has seen a soul nobody has seen a spirit but a body i know you are talking about many things abstract and so confusing i'm totally confused about what is what i am going to do with my life that's what many people are these days many youngsters they are thoroughly confused which career to choose in america especially very common i ask people that is teenagers hey what would you like to become i don't know so hey, what would you like to become when you grow up uh, i'm not sure have you thought about that one yeah but i don't think that i can make a decision now totally not sure thoroughly disoriented now i am confused now i don't know what i want okay, here is one thing <laughs> my friend that pradap he has joined he will share a very interesting story during the discussion don't go away very interesting story because when i came here from india obviously i had to buy a car in india at that time ambassador and maruti and fiat color ambassador black white maruti red and white so there's not much confusion because there are not many choices when i came here now toyota is available honda is available nissan is available ford is available chrysler is available huh? audi bmw so many choices so many colors and so many again models the corolla is available then um, the camry is available then avalon so <laughs> i'm not sure what do i want so going to a showroom i came out thoroughly confused okay <laughs> what to what should i buy then i asked a friend of mine who has been a american friend he has been here for get some time then he said okay first you do one thing you have to do some reading go to the consumer reports a magazine in that one they will rate which are the cars the price and reliability everything and go through that one then you decide which one you want to buy then go to that showroom and look for that particular model otherwise you will be thoroughly confused so that is what i followed because these days if you want to buy a jeans you go to buy a jeans you will be thoroughly confused low this one bottom wide bottom narrow then the high hip high hip low so many choices are too many when there are too many options you get thoroughly confused it is amazing how confused and distracted and misdirected so many people are stephen covey seven habits of highly effective people the other the fifth one is the one i like most seek first to understand first you try to understand the problem when you are facing a problem if you don't understand you will remain confused we are all confused and have problems and struggles life is really simple but we insist on making it complicated 2500 years old life is simple if you look at what you need if you want to live an uncomplicated life just to take a pen and paper write down what do you really need a need is something you must have a need is you must have food is a need shelter is a need money is a need then want oh i want 5 crores that is a want i want a, you need a transportation you need a, a, a two wheeler go for a bike hero honda some 70000 rupees or you want to buy some bmw two wheeler ah uh, 3 lakhs 5 lakhs people don't know how to differentiate the need from want because of that they thoroughly get confused 
Then they chase after how to find the money. When you don't need, now you make the life more complicated. Do you agree? If you agree, put A. This is what is happening every day. If you agree, put A, my dear friends. A agree. Okay, Sanal Kumarji. Need and want. I'm very clear about it. I'm very clear about it. I don't go after my wants. I don't. And we, I have seen some people buying a house here, some 5,000 square footage and with a swimming pool and they don't even have the time to swim. And another guy, he has a swimming pool and everything and he doesn't know how to swim also. <laughs> okay, he has bought a house with a swimming pool. He doesn't know how to swim. And you know that couple joy in Kerala, he built a palace-like building, 45,000 square footage in Wayanad, crores of rupees, and he went into financial problems and he committed suicide. So he, the whole root causes, not able to think clearly, making life complicated. There's a notion that if you think positively enough, you can make anything happen by using the power of your mind. All the positive things in the world won't deliver good fortune or prevent tragedy from striking. My dear friends, this is a message which I want to drive into some people. They think the law of attraction, it has become a big factor. Law of attraction, money will be attracted. And there are some yandra. One guy in Trivandrum, he sells Dana Karshana Bhairavi Yantram. If you wear that one, it will attract the money. Wealth will come to you. And positive thinking, all these things, no, it's not going to work. That is something cheating, fraud. A confused mind is one that is open to the possibility of change, brainwashing. And advertising agencies, 85% confusion and 15% commission. Look at this one. This is Achay Kumar. He gets 5 crores or 10 crores for being the endorsing that product. Chavana Prayash, protection against COVID-19 with the two teaspoons of Chavana Prayash. He gets some 10 crores. Millions of people buy Chavana Prayash. Do you think that it protected people? No. Yesterday, yesterday, interesting. One of my friends, one cardiologist here in the USA. In the last 10 days, I tried to reach him. I couldn't get hold of him. So yesterday, I only like got hold of him. And he said, what happened? I could not reach you. I was in the hospital. What happened? COVID. He contacted COVID and he had pneumonia. He was in the hospital for six days. And I asked him, cardiologist, he's just three years younger than me. Did you take COVID vaccine? He had six doses of COVID vaccine. Not one, two, three, four, six doses. And he was hospitalized. So that is the fact. And this guy comes with a chavana prash and misleading. And because Akshay Kumar fans, they think, okay, Akshay Kumar is saying, okay, it will work. They buy that one. There's no thinking in all. Cultivate holistic thinking skills through self-education to manage confusion. Self-education. I have put nine different types of thinking skills. Analytical thinking, critical thinking, logical thinking, creative thinking, convergent thinking, divergent thinking, abstract thinking, concrete thinking, lateral thinking. Nine. Are you thoroughly confused? If you are confused, say yes. <laughs> after, after seeing this slide, if you are confused, say yes. Eh? Nine different kinds of thinking skills. Yes. Okay, Pradhaviji, yes. So many people have not heard. I was not aware of these nine different thinking skills when I started reading that. Holistic thinking skills in 1985. That is almost 40 years back. Then I came across all this. Then I started working on that one. Now I know all the nine different types of thinking skills. I do apply that one whenever it's required. For example, just one example I'll see you. A, a, a creative thinking skill. A creative thinking skill. Because of that only, cell phone, the smartphone. Before that, if you want to make a phone call, you had a phone. If you wanted to watch a movie, where do you have a, a TV screen and video player? Or if you want to <coughs> the play music, you need a tape recorder. Like multiple, if you wanted to go somewhere, you need a map to read the map, direction and everything. Now, because of creative thinking, 
convergent thinking everything create your convergent thinking in one device got it so that is one example of creative thinking and convergent thinking online sources for developing thinking skills psychology today magazine it is free you don't have to pay even a single penny online go there and type in lateral thinking creative thinking constructive thinking critical thinking there are numerous articles harvard business review also online it is paid subscription as well as free both are available ted talks youtube also on thinking numerous now i usually get an exam i don't have the time i'm busy eh? I, I i'm busy i don't have the time yeah 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 you don't have the time then i'm going to show you some people who read more than 50 books in a, in a year more than i'm going to show you real life examples that should motivate some people i'm not saying that i'm not generalizing i'm not saying that all of you you don't read some of you may not be reading some of you may not be reading though some of you whether you think you can or you think you cannot, you are right. Whether you think that you can find time, you can find time. If you think you cannot find time, you cannot find time. That is what the Henry Ford said. Obama, Sudha Murthy, Narayan Murthy, Jayalada's personal library, more than 3,000 books, non-fiction books she had. She empowered herself with the, all this information, autobiography, biography, history, a 10th grader, everything self-education. Because of that, she became the chief minister three times in a male-dominant society. Uh, Edison, Edison formal schooling, only few months, few months of formal schooling. And his teachers insulted him because he, he was a very inquisitive child. So his mother pulled him out from the school, self-education. Look at the thousands of the, the inventions, electric bulb, music, ground phone record. Motion camera, movie industry, revolutions, everything, self-education. And he used to be a very voracious reader. Now, are you convinced that the need and necessity for reading and empowering? These nine thinking skills, all that is required, nine hours for each thinking skill, one hour you must be able to spend. It is investing on your own, this one. 40 minutes of reading, 15 minutes of thinking. Nine hours, you can easily find. If you go to a restaurant with your family, you will be spending at least easily some three hours. If you're going to a movie house, again, three hours. Going to a mall, three hours. If you can spend that much time there, definitely, this is for self-investment, self-development. Nine thinking skills, yes. Most of the problems you can solve. Take care of that one. Philosophical courts are wonder drugs to cure confusion. If you are not confused, if you are not confused, then you are not paying attention. <laughs> that is a funny quote. Upcoming talks. Next week, I am going to give talks on mind. Now I gave the talk on confused mind. Next one, skeptical mind. Then subconscious mind. Then unconscious mind. That is my the ID. That is a, the Zoom ID. Same ID. Always. Thank you for joining this webinar. Now don't go away. And uh, just a minute. Okay. You can ask any question, but please be pointed. Anybody asking a question, just that is absolutely relevant. Then I will stop the recording at nine o'clock. Then we'll continue the discussion. You will be able to learn more during the discussion. During the discussion, uh, my friend of Pradab, he will share an interesting story about confusion. Okay. Those who want to ask a question, please don't be the ask first to ask some irrelevant question. Ask a question that is relevant. Anybody? Okay, Sanal Kumar, go ahead. Okay. Please, if I speak in English, because we have some participants, Dr. Archana, okay, okay. she cannot I got, understand. I got, I got confused two times. One is when I am 
uh, when I'm when I go to a bank to get a loan, then to close the loan. Both these situations are highly confusing. Yeah. So then, what do you do? How do you how do you manage that situation? Somehow, according to my situation, I was forced to adapt to that confusion. <laughs> <laughs> that is where my suggestion. That is always our Roy G. He knows my suggestion. Always remember to ask W five. H questions. What is this scheme? What is this loan? What is this one? Then the details. And why is this one this one? Why is this way? And how do I pay it? What? Why? How? All these questions don't stop until, okay, Shajiji, until you get clear answers. And these days, it's a big blessing online. If you go about a particular bank and online their website, what are the different types of loans available? And what are the terms? And read all those things. And make a note of the questions you want to ask. Got it? Questions you want to ask. Then specifically you must ask what is the penalty. Be aware of, because those penalty, everything will be in small print. Any, in any of that one, the penalty, everything in fine print. So many people, they don't read that one. They miss that one. And subsequently, it is the fine print which matters more than the large print. Especially the financial institutions, banks and all those things. They want to trick you. They want to cheat you. Okay, It is there in, not only in India, in USA, everywhere. Okay, that's a very good question. Have you answered that question clearly, Sanal Kumarji? Okay, thank you. Anybody yes. else? Okay, Gomarji, go ahead. KP Gomar, END Surgeon. Uh, I think, Venu, uh, along the confusion is you have just mentioned. Uh, we should also include the various film stars uh, who are watching for the so many things like boost. That is another thing. And uh, especially when we watch the cricket match, it is started with so many advertisement. No, so even uh, people uh, there uh, see even Pan Parag, uh, they are also uh, these uh, crore parties are uh, going for this thing. So yes. I think that also should be brought uh, uh, under your confusion is this. Uh, no, that, media yeah. advertisement. Yeah, Gomarji clearly I mentioned. That is the it's very easy to brainwash a person who doesn't know how to think. Once you know, okay, they are all getting five to ten crores for endorsing a product, then that it tells will immediately clear our mind. Okay, because they have a vested interest motive. Okay. I mean that Donnie is drinking Pepsi. And all those things. That is to targeting the teenagers, children who are the fans of Dhoni. They will want to drink because Dhoni is drinking. Then the parents, you must explain, tell the children. In simple, easily understandable language. Okay, they are not drinking. They are getting this much money. They want to make money. That is why. Certain basics of the business also. But how many parents take time to even explain these things to their children? No. My own son, he has joined here today. And during the discussion, he'll share one of his interesting, this one, about the thinking. And when he was here, obviously, some cereal, when he wanted to eat some cereal, he would run when as a child and get a box where his favorite, some cartoon character is there. What I mean? Either Batman or Spider-Man or something else. So the children... He is attracted. He doesn't know the contents and what the price and everything. He doesn't know. So I tell him, these fruit loops, the very same thing. I bought the store brand. I used to show him. Read out. This one, this one. Identical. Same price. This one is a $5. This one is $3. So $2 less and quantity is also more. Try the taste. Because you are not going to eat that Batman, that, that box cover. That box cover, 
we will throw it out. So by educating him, subsequently, always, I used to get only the store brand. You got it? That is the way. Go, Marji. Have I answered your question? Uh, yes, yes. Thank you, Manu. Okay. Yeah, children are, they, they don't know how to think. Even the adults, they don't know how to think. That is when, look at that word, Akshay Tradiya. How many adults in Kerala, Prabuddha, how do they speak? Akshay Tradiya. What is there on that particular day? Stupidity. You go early morning. Stand in a line. And now Akshay Tradiya went to buying the other gadgets also. TV also that day, Akshay Tradiya. Akshay Tradiya, buy this one, that one. That is poor thinking skills. Okay, and now I'm going to stop the recording. And do you did you find this session very useful and helpful? If it is useful and helpful, in the chat box, put UH. Useful and helpful. Because this is a topic. Okay, thank you, Roy Chariyanji. Because this is a topic. Okay, Gomarji, you are hearing for the first time. Krishna Arjuna. Thank you, Pradavji. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Don't go away. We'll continue the discussion.